In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I created this text with elements that are behind the text and in front of the text and where we're using gradients to create a dual tone on the text. So stay tuned. And a favor, if you learn anything in this tutorial, press the like button and subscribe. Now let's get to it. All right, I'm starting off with the YouTube thumbnail workspace, which is the size of 1280 pixels by 720 pixels. And I'm going to go over to elements and I'm going to place a field of lavender on my workspace. Now I'm going to set this as my background, but before I do, I'm going to remove the background so that I can use these strips of lavender in my design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a duplicate and I'll make the first one my background. And then I'll grab the duplicate and I'm going to remove the background. And here we go. So I'm going to take this one with the background removed and I'm going to make a couple of copies of it. And I'm just going to grab them and just move them to the side for now. I'll just keep them there. I'm going to go over to text and I'm going to place some text on my workspace. And in all caps, I'm going to type the word lavender. And for this text, I'm going to change the font to a grunge um, like font called Zoom Rough Bold. And this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to make that a little bit larger and I'll just center it a little bit on my workspace. I'm going to change the color of the text to white and I'm going to grab one of these lavender transparent elements and I'm going to place it in behind the font just to give it a little bit of depth. I'm going to go over into elements and I'm going to search for a purple gradient. One that will kind of go with my design. So I'll use this one and I'll just place it on my design on my workspace like that. And you can uh, toggle how much of that gradient you want to see. So if you want it further up, you can place it further up. Now I do want that gradient to appear in front of my text. So I'm going to go to position and layers, and I'm going to grab that gradient and just bring it up in front of the text like that. I'm now going to go into gradients again, and I'm going to search for a blue gradient. And I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to flip it. And I'm going to put that on top like this. And I'm just going to shift it up a little bit just so that we can see a little bit of the purple and the blue. I'm now going to go back to position and layers and I'm going to grab those elements that I placed on the side uh, where I removed the background. So I'm going to hover over the elements in position and layers so that I can determine which layers those actually are. So as we can see, when I'm hovering over the element, it's highlighting it on the side. So I'll just grab those two by pressing my mouse button and shift and I'm going to drag them all the way to the front position in my layers. And so here they are right here. And now I'm going to grab each one and I'm just going to position them to add a little bit of texture in front of the word lavender like this. And you can reposition the lavender to make it fit 
in a position so that you can actually read what the text says. And that's pretty much it. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on how to use gradients to achieve a dual tone effect on text and how to blend text with elements so that they are appearing behind elements. If you want to learn more about Canva, join my YouTube channel membership. I go live every week and teach my adult learners what they want to know. If you learned anything in this tutorial, press that like button, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye-bye until next time.